The second epistle to the Corinthians, often written as 2 Corinthians, is a Pauline epistle and the eighth book of the New Testament of the Bible. Paul the Apostle and Timothy our brother wrote this epistle to the Church of God which is at Corinth, with all the saints which are in all Achaia. 2 Cor. 1 1. Composition while there is little doubt among scholars that Paul is the author, there is discussion over whether the epistle was originally one letter or composed from two or more of Paul's letters. Although the New Testament contains only two letters to the Corinthian church, the evidence from the letters themselves is that he wrote at least four and the church replied at least once. 1 Cor 5-9 I have written you in my letter not to associate with sexually immoral people. Niv refers to an early letter, sometimes called the warning letter or the previous letter. 1 Corinthians The severe letter, Paul refers to an earlier letter of tears. In 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verses 3-4 and 7-8, 1 Corinthians does not match that description, so this letter of tears may have been written between 1 Corinthians and 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 1 states that in that letter Paul was replying to certain questions regarding which the church had written to him. The abrupt change of tone from being previously harmonious to bitterly reproachful in 2 Corinthians chapters 10-13 has led many to speculate that chapters 10-13 form part of the letter of tears, which were in some way tagged on to Paul's main letter. Those who disagree with this assessment usually say that the letter of tears is no longer extant. Others argue that although the letter of tears is no longer extant, chapters 10 to 13 come from a later letter. Some scholars also find fragments of the warning letter or of other letters in chapters 1 to 9, for instance, that part of the warning letter is preserved in 2 Cor 6:14-7 to 1, but these hypotheses are less popular. Topic: Structure Topic. The book is usually divided as follows 1 to 1 minus 11 greeting 1 12 to 7 16 Paul defends his actions and apostleship, affirming his affection for the Corinthians 8 to 1 9 15 instructions for the collection for the poor in the Jerusalem church 10 to 1 13 10 a polemic defense of his apostleship 13 11 minus 13 closing greetings Topic. Background Topic. Paul's contacts with the Corinthian church can be reconstructed as follows. Paul visits Corinth for the first time, spending about 18 months there Acts chapter 18 verse 11. He then leaves Corinth and spends about three years in Ephesus Acts chapter 19 verse 8, 1910, 2031, roughly from AD 53 to 57, see 1 Corinthians article. Paul writes the warning letter in his first year from Ephesus 1 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 9. Paul writes 1 Corinthians from his second year at Ephesus. Paul visits the Corinthian church a second time, as he indicated he would in 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 6. Probably during his last year in Ephesus, 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 1 calls this a painful visit. Paul writes the letter of tears. Paul writes 2 Corinthians, indicating his desire to visit the Corinthian church a third time 2 Cor 12 14, 2 Cor 13 1. The letter does not indicate where he is writing from, but it is usually dated after Paul left Ephesus for Macedonia Acts 20, from either Philippi or Thessalonica in Macedonia. Paul presumably made the third visit after writing 2 Corinthians, because Acts chapter 20 verses 2 3 indicates he spent three months in Greece. In his letter to Rome, written at this time, he sent salutations from some of the principal members of the church to the Romans. Content In Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, he again refers to himself as an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God and reassures the people of Corinth that they will not have another painful visit, but what he has to say is not to cause pain but to reassure them of the love he has for them. 
It is shorter in length in comparison to the first and a little confusing if the reader is unaware of the social, religious, and economic situation of the community. Paul felt the situation in Corinth was still complicated and felt attacked. Some challenged his authority as an apostle, and he compares the level of difficulty to other cities he has visited who had embraced it, like the Galatians. He is criticized for the way he speaks and writes and finds it just to defend himself with some of his important teachings. He states the importance of forgiving others, and God's new agreement that comes from the Spirit of the Living God 2 Cor, 3 -3, and the importance of being a person of Christ and giving generously to God's people in Jerusalem, and ends with his own experience of how God changed his life Sandmel, 1979. Topic. Uniqueness. Topic. Easton's Bible Dictionary writes, This epistle, it has been well said, shows the individuality of the Apostle more than any other. Human weakness, spiritual strength, the deepest tenderness of affection, wounded feeling, sternness, irony, rebuke, impassioned self-vindication, humility, a just self-respect, zeal for the welfare of the weak and suffering, as well as for the progress of the Church of Christ and for the spiritual advancement of its members, are all displayed in turn in the course of his appeal." Leah's, 2 Corinthians Scholars Topic. George H. Guthrie, professor at Union University in Jackson, Tennessee Larry Welburn, professor at Fordham University in the Bronx, New York Topic. See also Topic. Textual variants in the second epistle to the Corinthians First Epistle to the Corinthians Third Epistle to the Corinthians Second Corinthians chapter 11 verse 19 Authorship of the Pauline Epistles Come Outer Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Corinthians, Epistles to the Encyclopædia Britannica, 7 11th ed., 1911. pp. 150–154, online translations of Second Epistle to the Corinthians Online Bible at gospelhall.org Second Corinthians Public Domain Audiobook at LibriVox Various versions Commentary articles by J.P. Meyer on 2 Corinthians, by chapter, 1 to 2, 3, 4 to 1 minus 6 to 10, 6 11 to 7 16, 8 to 9, 10 to 13.